It's surgery day. I found out I had fibroids and ovarian cysts in July 2022. But before that, towards the end of 2021, I started feeling different in my body. I could feel a, a bump or a lump on my lower abdomen when I was ovulating or during my periods. But as time went on, it started becoming obvious and consistent and consistent even outside of ovulation or uh, menstrual periods i started feeling the growth um my periods were more painful than usual i mean my entire day was always gone i, I, <laughs> I could not even go to the office when i had menstrual pain i would have to sleep it out i would have to take very very serious pain meds i mean i was already taking um, diclofenac at the time <laughs> Go, go, go. It was, it was not funny. The pains were serious. I went to the hospital for a checkup. They did a scan. I couldn't hold my urine. In fact, on two occasions, I peed myself. I think it was even the urine that made me rush to the hospital because what was that? <laughs> so I went to the hospital and they did a urinary tract infection um, test and a scan because of the other symptoms I was having, back pain, waist pain, thigh pain, lower abdomen pain, the bump that was already there because that grown. So when the result came out, I had fibroids in the first place. So I was referred to a gynae, another scan. That was a scan that showed that I had ovarian cysts. My God. The first thing I started thinking about was infertility. I started crying because I was very ill formed at the time. I went to a third hospital and it was confirmed I was scheduled for a surgery to take out the cyst, not really the fibroids because the doctor said that the fibroids were not, uh, they were growing, they were growing, they were given symptoms, but the major issue was the ovarian cyst, it needed to be taken out because they could rupture, cause complications, you know, cause what is called torsion, where they twist and twist your ovary out of place and that in that situation, you may have to take out the ovary if they can't save it. I had to go in for a surgery. At this point in the video, I was already um, emotional because it just dawned on me the gravity of what I was about to do because I told everyone to excuse us to prepare for the theater. <laughs> amount of surgery i couldn't get um, a footage of the procedure because of the private nature of, of the entire thing i mean it's already a lot that so many people are gathered around looking into your perineum <laughs> i was just checking my legs because i felt like they were so swollen due to the um, anesthesia i felt that they were so big and i kept telling her to check my legs okay so back to my story I was scheduled for the surgery mid-cycle, they usually did mid-cycle, did a lot of blood work. In fact, I had to repeat my blood work because platelet count was low. At the end of the day, I got through, started preparing me for the theatre. So what they did was to fix the catheter for me and fix my drip line. In fact, there was so much drama. At that point, I was scared. I was so scared. Everything was painful to me. I was screaming out of proportion, I think. So I was, I was a little dramatic. When they got to the theater, I could not even stand the um, anesthesia procedure. They would give an injection first to numb the area where they're going to put the epidural line. So what they gave me was an anesthesia that would numb my navel to my feet. When they did that, they started the surgery. And if I'm gonna, when they first drew, I think they were trying to draw a line on my tummy and I was, I, I could feel it. In fact, I just started screaming. I said, I'm not doing it again. Stop it, stop it. I don't want it again, stop. You know, they will have to shield your face. And I was, I was, I was too scared. I was too scared. They had to just increase the, whatever they were giving me on my line, it just knocked me out. It was just like 10 minutes later and I saw, I, I saw myself awake again. Not knowing that in real life, it took about an hour plus, I think almost two hours for them to finish the procedure, but it was that short. When they knock you out, it's really very short. And they brought me back to the ward. I was in bed for the whole day. I did not um, sleep so deeply, but I was not myself. 
you see the time stamps, it's already 10 p.m. at this point. Then I ended up having a very rough and long night. Two thousand years later. There's no way. Second, first girl, mommy of the house, mama. First day, post operation. Eighteen hours. Eighteen. Wow, I hear it's eighteen hours already. It feels like forty-eight hours. <laughs> so long. So so long. My waist. My bum. My stomach. My arms. Everything. My eyes. Thank God I don't have a car. That's what I'm gonna deal with. Good morning. Good morning. I hate this and shower. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. They say you were dramatic. I was. Hmm. Hey. I told hey. you to bring him for me. Hey. 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 It's right. It's so that we have to brush. Like you should brush. Hey. Hey, you should, you should start walking about. Yeah. It will help you. I'm surprised. The way she was doing yesterday. So how was the pain? It was the other pain, but now my eyes. Mm, you should be lying down because of the pain. I feel dizzy. Yes. Okay, mm. okay. Is the pain you should lie down. Mm. Mm. Well, I'm feeling very dizzy. Victoria. Hmm? Feeling yeah, she's very dizzy. Mm. Can you sleep now? Mm. It's left in the kitchen, so I can go back to bed. That will make me more dizzy. It's done. Mm. But it's cool. So you can sleep well. I heard you're just disturbing them all night long. You didn't let them sleep. Hey. Yes. Uh -huh. 
Yes, so early. It's because of you that I came early now. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'll see you guys. All right. I feel so dizzy. I'm asleep. I want to sleep, honestly. One to bit. One yeah, to so bit. We know I'm done with that. Yeah, so I don't come back. You know you're ready for the day. Mm. So I need to take my bath now. I feel so dizzy. I was so tempted to bring that water in. Can I swallow my own saliva? Can I follow my own saliva? You have to bring that. I have. <laughs> I have a very low threshold for pain. Eh? You, you. Oh, are you serious? I don't want that. I don't even know. People start doing so far, make people feel pain. Hey. It's falling down. Your, your auntie. You want to lift my, my it? I think I should lift it. You should stay there for now. So let me take a rest my back. How would I put it? It's very low. It is very low. You're going to feel it's going to fold. Hey. Very sweet. I'm really dumb. I'm dizzy. Please tell me that so. Tell me you got it. Don't lie down. I'm gonna give my back. It's the. 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 It's Hello. Wow, I look so nice. I'm glowing. Oh, my pimples have even gone. That is weird. Ah, oh, nice, nice, nice. Ah, uh ah. -uh. This is just <laughs> maybe, maybe. This is just day one. Post up. I'm up and running. Say lie, I'm not up and running, no. My mouth is just sharp and my face is just bright. With pillows all over the place. Oh God. Please, that's my pillow. Oh, that's true. Do you need your pillow? Are you really are you really using the pillow? <laughs> Be careful, don't fart on it. Eh, let's tell you that farted. Three times. She's been so happy. I farted three so times. They have not given me yet, so they said they'll come and check it. I thought they said I thought that one do not. Oh, they brought it's another one. Look at. Then what you uh. But you're not hungry now. I'm thirsty. Thirsty? Yes. She got to come with the bathroom. You didn't put that in the bathroom. I tried not to, I did not. She has done it, Abby. Mm -hmm. He said there was someone that is on water and then she started throwing up. So they need to be sure that you can take it. So that doctor has come to check my bowel movements, but it's not come back since. Hope all is well. Not, maybe all is not well. But I farted three times. Sure Two that. silent ones from six to six thirty thereabouts. Then one loud one. You were from six to six thirty. Um, between six and six thirty, rather. Oh, I thought you were farting No, okay, sorry, that was a mistake. Between six o'clock and six thirty thereabouts. Mm -hmm. I farted two two times. So but on silence. To understand what the fart is. I don't know. I think it has to do with your bowel movements. As if your 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 bowels are recovering. I'm doing well so far. I still have cramps though. Cramps. You see? Huh? Tell me, what's the title of your movie? Doesn't make sense to me. Ouch! 
scrubs, scrubs, scrubs. Focus on your cramps. Please, I need that tissue again. I want to wipe this. You see, and put more lip gloss. It's time. Would you like some uh, uh. This thing is giving all. That means I'll be a very good, very good pregnant woman. I'll be looking so, so sweet. This one I didn't do surgery. <laughs> Why did you allow it to get dry? Hmm? <laughs> mm. Thank you. Can't wait to start eating. I'm tired. I thought she was pregnant. So her tummy was big. Like it was it was like a seven months of pregnancy, like six or seven. Wow. Yes. For someone who does not really have, for someone who has an average tummy, you know that from seven months the tummy just starts growing faster. But between six and seven, it just looks like a normal pregnant woman. Yeah, exactly. So that was how she. Wow. That was how she was looking. Then I don't know when I came. I came back. I think three weeks later. I now saw her. I didn't see any pregnancy. I was now, I was now wondering, and you know, I didn't want to be nosy, so I just kept quiet. <coughs> so she actually met me, and I was like, I'm looking scared and all. She said, Let her tell me that she has done hers. She come, put her to the restroom. Yeah. She now showed me her scar, showed me everything. That she's just resuming to that, I think that day or the day before. Yes, yeah, that she was at home for that three weeks. That time I didn't yeah. come because I came and did the test and scan and the recommendation for surgery. But I was scared, so I just went back. I was away yeah. from here for like three weeks or a month. I didn't come here at all. So I just went back and was like nursing the thoughts. By the time I came back, she was flat. Wow. Just, and I uh, I was really surprised. I thought she had given birth or she lost it. Like I was yeah, just thinking yeah. a lot of things. But I was like, I, want or to... maybe I was the one that I was not thinking right. Yeah. She told me she had it, but she showed me the pictures. What? Big, big ones. There's some like many soft and uh, small ones. Yes, 27. The other did on 50. She was 50. The other one 50. She, she, she still has big tummy. Yeah. Yes. 50. But it will probably be small, small, small. Yeah, small, yeah, small. yeah. Maybe it's like a few large ones. Yeah. But for it to get to 50, that's like, like times two of the other lady's own. I never met her, so I don't know what it was looking like. I was looking a little bit like someone was like a few weeks pregnant. And it's just seven. <laughs> you this vlogger, be blogger. <laughs> it's my videographer. Eh? She did a very good job. Oh, but that's when you post, let me know, okay? Yeah. So I'll watch it. I'm happy very good So I should start with me. You're feeling dizzy. Okay, come back. I can't even talk much. No, just two that says she's been using. Sipping now. Ah. Okay. When's the test? Okay. Okay. Finish it in two hours. Yeah, finish it in one hour. Yes, nice. Nice. You should finish it in less than one hour. No, no, no. I'm not supposed to do that. Okay, take okay. one sip. Okay. I don't remember. Just be sipping it. Push. Light is back. Mm -hmm. Light is back. Yeah, yeah, light is back. I should bring it up. You're good the way you are. Ah. Sorry. Your spoon. I think you need to take it slow. Let me use my spoon. Where is the spoon? Oh, it looks soft. My feet are not. This one. This one. What is that? So I don't have my face in it. I can't talk with this. Hmm? Is it cold or hot? Yeah, I've got cold. Mm. Finally. Thank you. 
And second meal. Uh -huh. And second meal, yeah. The next is going to be pepper soup. <laughs> Hello. This is the second day post up. I've cleaned up, had a normal new routine. There's more pap for me to eat. <laughs> But I'm having like slight stomach upset, so I don't know. And I really want to eat something else. <sighs> I was promised pepper soup this afternoon, but it's like <laughs> if I don't do well, I may not have it. Oh, ordinary apples I'm cannot even go in. That's all right. Thank you. There's no catfish. So she said, I'll meat. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, this is sugar. Yeah. Thank you. I'll start my pop now. Please All right. Okay, I'm going to eat. So my first real food has arrived rice and stew with plantain and pepper soup i'm not feeling very confident about this stew i don't know what it's going to be like i don't know if i would like it but let's see how it goes hi so this is dinner on day three day three but day two post up I hope it goes well because <laughs> I don't think I ate my lunch as such. I just took my pepper soup. It took me two um, two rounds to finish the soup. So tough. So let's go. Bread, avocado, and tea. Um. <laughs> So I'm going home tomorrow, tomorrow morning. I think I'm doing well. And, um, <clears throat> well, there's no further updates for now. Let me just eat. Okay, yeah. One more thing. They've come to dress my wound. They've changed the initial dressing that was there after the operation. So they put another dressing. It wasn't painful. It's not. It's not open wound. So. Everything is fine down there, but um, sitting up causes stress and pressure on that area. So I'm just trying to cope. I'd rather stand or lie down. Sitting down is tough, but it's cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pat. Ready to go home. <laughs> Good morning. So I'm going home this morning. It's my last day in the hospital. Am I happy about going home? Yes, at least. Last night was very scary for me. I was so scared. I don't know why. I just want to get back to my house. I'm <laughs> tired. I'm also scared. <laughs> so now I need to shower first. So yeah, really I'm thinking about my line. It's itching. It's swollen. Okay. Bye. This ain't your regular patient. <laughs>